Machu Picchu, the mysterious Inca settlement located in Peru, has been featured on many postcards distributed throughout the world. Peru is one of the most well-known countries in South America. Although the Inca Trail and the ancient archaeological site it leads to are without a doubt the most famous attractions in the country, Peru is home to a plethora of tourist attractions. Discover the wonders of Peru at your own pace, from pre-Columbian communities to the contemporary and historic cities that make up the southern Peru tourist corridor. Here's a look at the best 10 places to visit in Peru. Chachapoyas the mountainous capital of Amazonas, Chachapoyas, is situated some distance inland from the coast of Peru. Even though it is in a distant place, it is stunning and peaceful. The city is a good starting point for trips to a lot of beautiful natural areas and important historical sites. The year 1538 marks the beginning of the construction of the town by the Spanish. There are a number of colonial buildings and monuments to be seen there, and the main square is home to a wide selection of hotels, restaurants, and travel agencies. From this breathtaking point, it is possible to see both the Correggia Sarcophagi and Kulap, which is the largest pre-Inca ruin in South America. The region surrounding the town is made up of mountain ranges, valleys, and wooded areas, all of which are home to a diverse array of flora and animals, such as colorful birds. The town itself is located in the middle of this landscape. The Gokta Kataks waterfall is the highest one in the region, measuring in its 700 meters. The Chachapoyas region is home to a multitude of stunning landscapes that are ideal for activities like hiking and trekking. Paracas National Reserve The Paracas National Reserve, 250 kilometers south of Lima, is known for its dramatic scenery, archaeological sites, beaches, and wildlife. It contains marine and coastal desert ecosystems and arid, rocky islands. While ocean waves pound its jagged, crumbling cliffs and deserted isles, its small coves and bays have shallow, warm swimming waters. Sailboating and windsurfing are popular on its sheltered beaches. People take boat trips to the Balestas Islands to see their spectacular rock formations and seabirds, seals, and sea lions. Most visitors stay in Paracas, a small town on the Paracas Peninsula. Tour operators can take you to ancient archaeological sites in the reserve. Chan Chan Outside of Trujillo, in Peru, is where you'll find the impressive and extensive archaeological site of Chan Chan. It is situated in a desolate and arid region, close to the Pacific Ocean, right at the mouth of the Malka Valley. Around the year 850 AD, the city of Chan Chan began to develop with the construction of palaces, plazas, and temples. Due to the fact that the city was constructed entirely out of adobe, many exquisite details, carvings, and friezes have been preserved. There are 10 royal compounds that are home to palaces, ceremonial halls, and burial chambers. These were the homes of the Chumu kings, and when they passed away, they were buried within these structures. The only ancient structure that is accessible to guests is the Palacio Nick Ann, which is awe-inspiring in its architecture, and features lovely geometric designs and marine-themed ornamentation. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu is everyone's favorite destination in Peru, no matter what you're visiting this South American country for. This abandoned ancient Incan city is 2430 meters high in the Andes. It's so well hidden that it went undiscovered for centuries, earning it the nickname Lost City of the Incas. An explorer accidentally discovered the site. Since its discovery, it's become a bucket list hotspot for visitors. It's popular, so plan ahead. The Inca Trail and the Salcante Trail are popular routes to these crumbling Incan ruins. Trains offer an easier alternative to climbing on foot. When you arrive, there's plenty to do. Explore well-preserved houses, temples, fountains, baths, agricultural terraces, and irrigation systems. You can also admire the views from the Sun Gate, the Inca Trail's gateway to Machu Picchu, and climb Buena Picchu or Machu Picchu Mountain for a bird's eye view over the valleys. Cusco Located in the Southern Sierras, colorful Cusco was once the capital of the Incan Empire. Today, it holds the title of the archaeological capital of the Americas. It's one of Peru's most visited destinations, and for good reason. It offers easy access to Machu Picchu and the incredible Sacred Valley of the Incas. Built by the Spanish on the ruins of age-old Incan temples and palaces, the heart of the city is the main square, the Plaza de Armas, which is surrounded by restaurants, cafes, and churches. The colorful San Pedro market is nearby, with vendors selling Quechua handicrafts. 
like alpaca textiles, painted pottery, ceramics, and Peruvian dolls, as well as fresh produce and drinks. Just outside the city limits is an important Inca site known as Sacsayhuaman, an enormous walled complex constructed of large limestone boulders. The site is an ancient engineering marvel because of its accurate alignment with the annual solstices and its ability to withstand earthquakes. The city is brimming with culture. It's the center of Quechua culture in the Andes, and its mountains are etched with trekking routes and hot springs. Strolling through the city streets with its colonial architecture, craft markets, museums, and art galleries has a timeless feel to it. Altitude sickness is a risk in Cusco because of its high altitude location at 3,400 meters above sea level. Allow time to acclimatize before visiting. Arequipa is Peru's second largest city at 2,380 meters. It's called the White City because its buildings are made of white cellar volcanic rock from nearby mountains. Arequipa. Arequipa, in contrast to many other cities in Peru, does not have any Incan settlements. The well-preserved frozen body of a young Incan girl who was offered as a sacrifice in the 1400s is known as the Mummy Juneta. She is also known as the Lady of Ampado. She is currently housed in the Museum of Andean Sanctuaries at QSM. Spanish colonial architecture may be found throughout the downtown area. The Santa Catalina Convent is recognized for its lovely alleys, colorful buildings, and flowers. Puente Bolognese is a picturesque and historic bridge. Many travelers begin their exploration of the city at the Plaza de Armas, which is home to a variety of shops, restaurants, and historic churches. Arequipa is the starting point for excursions into the dazzlingly beautiful natural Calva Canyon, which is one of the most popular tourist destinations in all of Peru. Dropping to a depth of 3270 meters, the canyon is one of the deepest of its kind in the world. Inca Trail The Inca Trail in Peru is a winding path that takes travelers over mountain passes, valleys, and valleys with breathtaking vistas. The trail to Machu Picchu, also known as the Lost City of the Incas, begins just outside of Cusco, which was the former Inca capital, and ends at Machu Picchu. The trek travels through a variety of ecosystems and landscapes, while following Inca stone pathways and trails. In certain sections, travelers will see alpine tundra, cloud forest, as well as mountains and valleys in the distance. You will find ancient ruins in the highlands, because that was where the Incas lived. Because of how busy the Inca trail is, Tourists are required to make reservations with a tour operator and have a few options to pick from while planning their journey. An experience like hiking the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu only comes around once in a person's lifetime. Sacred Valley The Sacred Valley of the Incas is an Andes Valley near Cusco and Machu Picchu. The Incas like the valley's climate and geography. The Southern Sierra is in Peru. Some of the most popular things to do here are adventurous, like trekking, rafting, and rock climbing. In contrast, the towns of UK and Rubamba are fast becoming hubs for spiritual relaxation and meditation. Whichever route you take, there's plenty to discover along the way. Along this mysterious route are colonial towns, remote villages, colorful markets, and Incan citadels like Pizac, Chinchero, and Alentetambo. Explore the terraced hills above Pizac and visit the village's artisanal market. Chapacoreo's uncrowded ruins rival Machu Picchu. Due to the Inca Trail's popularity, visitors must book with a tour operator and can choose from several different routes. Hiking the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Calca Canyon Calca Canyon is one of Peru's most famous tourist destinations. Over 70 kilometers long, the world's second deepest canyon offers breathtaking views of Andean culture and ecology. Calca Canyon's range of scenery, from barren steppe and tiered terraces to steep-sided cliffs and mountain peaks, is its most remarkable characteristic. Wherever you walk, you'll see Andean condors circling the 3140-meter-deep canyon. Archaeological sites and ruins dot the canyon, and inhabitants practice ancestral rituals in small communities. Many visitors to Calca Canyon start in Chive before climbing along the picturesque rim, past steep ravines and death-defying falls admiring the panorama. Due to the Inca Trail's popularity, tourists must plan with a tour operator and pick from many routes that vary in distance and elevation. Hiking the Inca Trail makes Machu Picchu even more amazing. Lima Lima, Peru's capital and largest city, is a 9-million-person metropolis. 
The city was founded in 1535 by the Spanish conquistador Francisco Pizarro and offers a rich history as well as exceptional cuisine and a great sense of culture. Modern buildings stand next to old and colonial ones, and well-kept slums live next to nightclubs and bars. Lima's Spanish colonial cathedrals, cloisters, and monasteries are a delight for history aficionados. Lima's coastal position makes it a wonderful seafood destination. A Lima food tour is a great way to try authentic Peruvian foods like ceviche. It's impossible to finish the tour in Lima without visiting the historic core of Lima Centro and its handmade markets, or the more tourist-friendly green suburb of Miraflores, which is crowded with antique shops and bars. If this video is helpful and enjoyable to you, don't forget to subscribe to us and comment below. Have a nice day.